everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Barker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this fun fold card featuring the Home and Garden Bundle from the 2022 Stampin' Up! mini catalog, um, spring mini catalog. Uh, the paper that I used on this card has since sold out. I just made it a few days ago and it's already sold out. Um, everything on the last chance list is while supplies last, so you never know. So we're gonna make it um, with the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. I think it'll um, have a different look because it's bright, but it'll be the same concept. And uh, you can use what paper you have. If you have the hand penned designer series paper, you can use that as well. All right, now I am bringing in a couple of other things for our front. Let's do our stamping first, and I'll tell you what I'm using. Um, I'm going to use the flower pots from the Welcoming Window. Let me show you if I can grab it. The welcoming window bundle, another last chance list item. We're gonna use all three of these, okay? So we're gonna stamp them in cinnamon cider. Cinnamon cider is a retiring color. Oh, this makes me sad. Um, now you're gonna stamp the large flower pot three times. One, two, three. Then stamp the medium flower pot twice. And then the little baby, whoops, whoa, the little baby flower pot we're going to do twice. Okay, now uh, the other stamps that I'm using is Plentiful Plants, and we're going to use this plant right here, and we're going to stamp that in Garden Green. We're just going to make this little cluster of images that looks kind of like maybe it's in a, a garden shed or a, you know, a garage somewhere. All right, so now let's stamp the images from the Home and Garden bundle. This is the ladder. If you're looking for more ideas using this bundle, I have a bunch of them. Um, I have a Facebook Friday that has three projects. Um, I also have, um, let's see, we need our little trowel. I also have another video with a gift card holder. So make sure you visit my YouTube channel and my blog if you need lots of inspiration. Okay, the last thing we need to stamp, I believe, is our sentiment. And I actually have already cut the stitched rectangle out for that. So we'll stamp that. Now I stamped the ladder and the trowel, or the spade, whatever you call it, um, in memento black because we're gonna take our Stampin' Blends and we're gonna color them in. I'm gonna use Crumb Cake for the ladder, and I'm using the bullet end of my Stampin' Blend because I feel like it's just, I just have better control over it that way. It has a brush tip that you can try to see which one works best for you. Now these colors are the colors I used on the original card with a hand pen DSP, and they will also work on our um, flowering fields card as well. All right, now I'm just going to bring over Smoky Slate. Color that in. Okay, now for the sake of the video, I have already cut out these and this. We're going to cut out the um, ladder and the spade, and we also are gonna cut out some tulip. Um, here I used some dyes from the, um, well, I can't think off the top of my head, I'll have it listed on the supply list, but I thought we'll pull in the tulip dye like this, and we'll cut some tulips to put in our pots there. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to do my tulips in two different colors. I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of split it like this, cut them at the same time. We'll do Poppy Parade and Blackberry Bliss. And then we will grab our Home and Garden dies. And we're going to cut out the ladder and the little spade or trowel, <laughs> whichever you call it. Then I'm going to get a piece of garden green and we're going to get these little tufts of grass right here and we'll cut those out. Uh oh, 
Don't want that to happen. Make sure nothing slides around. Carefully place your top plate and run it through. Let's see how we did. Get everything off. There's our ladder with our little spade. And our tulips. We're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut them apart in a minute. We'll just cut that off and get all of this out of the way. Let's get our trash out of the way. Um, there's one other thing that we're gonna do before I put this cut and emboss machine totally away. I have cut out a soft sea foam scalloped stitch scalloped rectangle and I'm gonna put greenery stitching in it. The scalloped, whoa, the scalloped rectangle is from the contour scallop dies. And this stitch greenery die is from itself. It comes all by itself. It doesn't come in a collection. All right, let's see if we can get this to pop out. There we go. There we go. All right, now let's start with our main piece, which is our ladder. And I'm gonna put some mini dimensionals on this. The top and the bottom. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna get my, here are all the things that I cut out ahead of time. Let's get our, our bigger pots and our medium pots. And I'm gonna put my dimensionals down towards the bottom of each pot because we want there to be room to kind of tuck these others into, into them to make a stack. I think I'll use minis over here like this. All right, so we're gonna take one of the big ones and we're gonna put that overlapping. We'll take another big one and kind of slide it down in there like that. And then we'll take one of the medium ones and stick that like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here with a big one and a medium one. Now this plant, I'm actually gonna cut apart all right, and we'll put a dimensional on the back of both pieces. And we're gonna stick this one kind of over like that. And this one tucks down in there like that. Now these little grass pieces, we're gonna put here in these pots. So I'm just gonna put some liquid glue and tuck that one right there. And then this one, I'm actually gonna put the glue up here at the on, the on the front side because we're gonna adhere it to the back of that pot like that. And then we're gonna take our little shovel, our spade, and we're gonna tuck that down in there like that. All right, now we've got these little guys left. And we're gonna put one on the top right there. And we'll put one kind of on the third rung right there. All right, now let's take some of these and cut them apart. Let's see, oh, they don't need to be too big. I think I'm just gonna stack two sets and stick them down in there like that. There we go, and then we'll get a red one. And I think I'll just do, let's just do like a little single. Let's do the solid one. I think the solid ones look better. So just cut it out. Like that. And we'll put a little bit of adhesive on there and tuck those down behind the pot like that. All right, 
Let's see, we want those to come forward and stick to the back of the pot. There we go. All right, last but not least, let's get that sentiment we have. And stick that across the bottom. All right, now we are ready to put our card together. We did all the hard parts. I've got a eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock that I've scored at two and an eighth and four and a fourth. And you wanna fold it in. So you're gonna fold it in half like a card and then this part goes back. Um, we're gonna adhere DSP on all three of these sections. The measurements will be over my blog, so make sure you hop back over there. Okay, and this one. We're gonna adhere this to a garden green piece of cardstock. Right there, just kind of frames that. And then I'm gonna put a piece of right here and I'm gonna center that right there. Last but not least, I have a piece of basic white and it is the same size as this one. And we're gonna put it here in the middle, kind of right behind that so that you don't see it when it's closed. And that's for you to write your message like that. And there you have it, a fun fold with kind of a garden, little garden scene, so cute. Um, you can see they're very different colors, um, but both designed exactly the same way. All right, make sure you click the link, hop over to my blog and grab that link, or grab those measurements, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.